Hi, I'm Ariadne, and for the last six weeks, I've been working with TV Player. And who are TV Player? Well, TV Player are re, uh, reimagining the way we watch TV. In today's environment, uh, we want flexibility in everything we do, and entertainment is absolutely no exception. And with TV Player's online platform, you can watch all your favorite channels in one place whenever you want and wh whatever device you want. They offer hundreds of channels, and this means thousands of shows, which is fantastic because you can go from watching the news on BBC One to Friends on Channel 4 with just a couple of clicks of a button. But this can be a little bit challenging because if you log on and you look at their TV guide, for example, you have to maybe scroll through hundreds of channels and also through time to find out what you want to watch. And then what happens if you don't even know what you want to watch? How do you choose between all these fantastic channels? So I've been teaming up with them to build a content recommendation algorithm um, to engage users even more and provide an even better user experience. However, uh, recommendation engines are really, really tricky. Uh, in an ideal world, uh, you would have a lot of information. For example, you'd have user demographic data You'd know exactly what your users like to watch in terms of content. You'd know a lot about the shows, director, genre, and things like that. And you'd have a huge user base. OK, but the reality is, oops, sorry, not always the same. So what actually happens is we don't tend to have what people like because it's live TV. People don't rate things very much. People don't want to give up very much content about themselves. It's understandable. And sometimes you don't even have that genre data. Uh, so this is what we end up with. We have a large user basis, which is fantastic because they're very popular, and we know what people have been watching. So in, in order to actually build my recommendation engine, I had to uh, overcome a few challenges. And so I had to find out first what actually people enjoyed from this viewing data. I had to find similar users because this is the underpinning of a recommendation engine. I had to optimize it because, let's face it, a bad recommendation is worse than no recommendation at all, and we want to give fantastic recommendations. And finally, I needed to build a scalable and efficient model because TV Player already has loads of users and it's growing all the time. OK, so how did I do this? So first off, I needed to find what people like. So I broke up the data in, in terms of channels. Um, and I saw how much time people engaged with it, so how much time they spent actually watching a certain channel. And then I went one step further, and I started to look at how much they watch of each show by combining it with external program uh, data. And so I could actually see you know, how much does someone like Mock the Week, for example. They like it a lot more than Money for Nothing and a lot more than something they're not watching at all. And this led me into my next problem, finding similar users. So now I can find what someone likes. This is represented by the dark blue circle within the space of all programs. And to find a similar user, I'm basically looking for users who have a certain number of shows in common. Right, so this is shown by the overlap of the two circles. And this is the heart of a recommendation engine, right? Because it's kind of easy to see. If I like a bunch of shows and you like a bunch of the same kind of shows, if I tell you, oh, I'm liking this show, you should give it a go, it's much more likely that you'll you know, enjoy it than if we had no shows in common at the very beginning. But I'm not doing one-to-one -one recommendation. I'm using information from the whole uh, user uh, database in order to make these recommendations. But this leads to a problem. OK, so how similar do two users actually need to be to make a good recommendation? Is it 1%? Is it 20%? Is it 60%? So like, can I just combine everyone and say, doesn't matter? Should I be a bit more conservative and have a threshold? Or do I just take the very best recommendations to make to, uh, the very s most similar users to make these recommendations. Well, what this comes down to is an optimization problem. And so this is another area where data science can come in and help us. Okay, because we're trying to have, find a balance between the number of recommendations, which is actually very important in live TV because the content is constantly changing and you don't know when someone's going to log on. So you don't want to make too few recommendations and not be able to actually you know, tell someone you might like this. Equally, we don't want to make bad recommendations. Okay, so if we're all the way down on the, on the sort of at the 1% level, we'll make too many recommendations. But if we go all the way to the 60%, we're not going to make enough. So using a data-driven approach and on historic data, I managed to find sort of the sweet spot where we still have, you know, if you log on at any time, I can give you three to six recommendations at, at, at the very minimum while still having a good quality of recommendation. And like, finally, we come to the last problem. 
This needs to be scalable. Okay, so TV player already has a lot of users. What happens in five years and 10 years? It's gonna be off the charge. If you're trying to make a recommendation, ideally what you'd do is you'd take a user and you'd look at all other users and you'd find the most similar ones. But as I've just shown you, you, you don't want to take everyone. So I wanted to build a hierarchical model where I could already identify without doing a lot of computationally uh, expensive work, the most likely users. So these are highlighted here in blue. And that means I can, you know, without doing a lot of work first, suggest the most likely users to then use with my optimization strategy and then I get the, the final subset of users who are the best for you know, making the recommendations in, 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 at the last point. So this comes to the end of my talk. And what I, what, where TV Player is at now is that they have a recommendation engine which they can implement. So for any user logging on, you can suggest you know, top three shows you think you'd like right now and what you think we'd like coming up. It should increase the user engagement a lot it should increase the user experience a lot, and I think that's what TV Player is all about, making excellent viewing experience for its users. So thank you very much for listening. <laughs>